everybody. I'm Laura Harris-Smith. Welcome to today's Daily PIN Code. I hope that you listened, watched yesterday's PIN Code. I was um, trying to just explain to you my journey, my starting point of a journey which began with me just asking God about healing. I mean, yes, we have it in black and white in the Bible. You can go and read anything you want to know about God. It's all in there. But sometimes there are things in our journey. We, we need a direct uh, direction, a <laughs> word from the Lord on, you know, because life gets tough. And honestly, I, there are sometimes when you can read in Scripture, it almost seems like contradictions. Um, and by that, I only mean there are some, you can pick out a verse that says, run forward, don't be afraid. And then there's some other verse you could turn to that says, Be patient and wait upon the Lord. So it's not that Scripture contradicts itself, but you can use anything out of context. So um, I've been trying to encourage you to do what I did, which is just go to God and say, okay, I'm putting all this on you. If you're trying to tell me something, you need to make it crystal clear. And he'll do it. So I described to you my encounter with God where he first showed up and convinced me that this was something that he wanted me to pursue. And I want to share this with you. The house is quiet. Everybody is in bed. And that's really, that's a, it was the exact, exact scenario um, the night that what happened to me happened to me. And the title of my latest book is called Great Big. Um, and it's the 25-year story of our life, my family's life. And yesterday I read an excerpt from it, uh, an encounter that I had with the Lord. I encourage you to go back and listen to it if you did not view it. But I want to pick up today where I left off, and it's just describing my thoughts after that encounter. Okay, so this feeling was over, and he had said, by process. Maybe this three- or four-day thing wasn't going to be as dish-rattling as it had begun, but he would still be working on me and wrapping things up by the weekend. I figured he must be having to do a very deep work if it was going to take three or four days. Hadn't he created the whole world in six? Three or four days was enough to heal anybody. Well, those three or four days turned into three or four weeks, then three or four months, then three or four years, and then three or four times that. To date, it has now been 16 years since that glorious encounter. All total, the illness has spanned almost three decades. It has been a long, hard road. I am a different woman. He knew the battle would be uphill and that I'd need a memorable night to make it through many more hard ones, so he brought a very tangible landmark to me. As I study those 17 words even tonight, something very important stands out to me. A verb change from present to future perfect. Have and then will. He used two verb tenses, one to indicate a present work and another to indicate a future work. I would one day be future perfect. I have already begun to heal you, and it will be by process. 151 times in Scripture, God says it will be, and every time, it was. He told Noah about the rainbow. It will be a sign of covenant between me and the earth, and it was. Still is, thousands of years later. He told Abraham about circumcision, that it will be a sign of covenant between me and you, and it was, and still is to many. Through Moses, God spoke of the Sabbath and said, it will be a sign that would mark how we rank God in our weekly priorities, and it still is today. The king told Esther, ask anything of me, up to half my kingdom, and it will be given to you. She did, and it was. Jesus said, ask, and it will be given unto you, and... Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And he also said, If two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for, it will be done for you. And even, give, and it will be given to you. There was no way around this process thing. The promise had come with an asterisk. Not that it indicated a disclaimer or warranted works, but just a timeline. It will be by process. That's how it was going to be. He had willed it. I know that's kind of long, but I wanted to read it to you to really capture what happened to me that night. We've been talking about in the last few pin codes the Greek meaning of miracles, the Greek 
meaning of the word healed. And what we're discovering is that one of the definitions, Greek words of, of healed, is the word therapeo. It's where we get the word therapy. It indicates something happening by process. It indicates recovery as opposed to an instant touch. So I wanted you to hear my story. It's not the last that you're going to hear of it, but I definitely want you to understand that you can get alone with God just like this and say, God, you know, you made my body. I really do believe that you did. So I know that you can remake it. So what's up? Where are we? How do you want me to posture myself in this? Um, what do you want me to do medicinally? Do I need to be doing smarter things? Or is this something that is so impossible, really only you can solve it? That's what you have to do. I honestly think the only reason that God showed up that night, and I do believe it was Him, and that encounter has not borne anything but good fruit in my life, I think the only reason He did was because I was desperate. So get desperate. It's okay to be desperate. It's okay to be dependent on God. It requires faith. And I honestly think we are most attractive to Him when we have to exercise faith to access something. Well, I'm going to wrap this up for now. I'm going to keep going here and just turn this into another day's pin code like I often do. I'm Laura Harris-Smith. Please remember 1 Corinthians 14, 31, and 39. For you can all prophesy in turn so that all may be instructed and encouraged. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, be eager to prophesy. Mm -hmm.